Hey, this is Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and welcome to my new series, uh, Beginning C Programming. And this will start off at C and eventually progress to C++ when we get into more advanced topics. And I'll try to put as much information in here as possible and continue to expand on this series. So, <clears throat> C is a very crucial language. Uh, people use it a lot for programming for uh, uh, desktop uh, programs, Windows desktop, and other applications. It is one of the old. It's one of the older languages and still very, very popular. So, for this particular one, we're going to use the the iron horse of IDEs for C, C++, C Sharp, and Visual Basic, which is Visual Studio, which is from Microsoft. This is free if you get this particular one here. The Visual Studio Express 2013 for Windows Desktop. So click on the downloads here and then click on Visual Studio Express for Windows Desktop 2013. Go down here, download language, hit English, and then go ahead and download it. Now, um, another thing is that you might need to sign up for an account, but I guarantee you that it's free. Um, and then we'll go ahead and use that. That will be perfectly fine. And as you see later on, we'll be able to do some visual uh, programming with Windows and stuff using this very, very nice um, Windows uh, Windows um, IDE. And also, we could use it, even though C is not registered here, you could use the C compiler and the C++ compiler is embedded. It may not look like it's supported, but it is. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump in to... Um, Visual Studio. So once you get VS installed, go ahead and jump into VS and then I'll show you how to create a new C project that we are going to use to follow along with. So go ahead and be looking at um, this page here, the start page. What you're going to do, you go File, New Project, and then you're going to do a Windows 32 console. Now that's under uh, Visual C++, Windows 32, and then you're going to go window, uh, Windows 32 console application. And then down here, you're going to call it, um, I'm going to call it tutorials. And down here, the solution name is tutorials. And then here is where the location where you want to create it. So go to the browse button and find where you want to create it and drop it. In this case, I wanted my Dropbox to sync between my computers when I'm on the go so I can still write tutorials. And then basically what you're going to do here is you're going to type in OK after you got these two and you set the location, you're going to type OK. And it's going to bring up the wizard. Now in the wizard, you're definitely going to want to go through the wizard. Don't just hit finish, you're going to hit next. And then you're going to hit console application, then you're going to hit empty project. You want nothing inside that project because it will automatically do C++ files and we don't want C++ files. So go ahead and leave that. That doesn't really matter. Make sure console application is selected. Hit finish. Wait for it to finish. And then it will close. And then you'll eventually see it pop up over there in the Solutions Explorer. Which, as you can see down here at the bottom, is creating the tutorial. Sorry, I'm on the go again, so I'm on my laptop. It's kind of slow. But here it comes, come on, say project creation successful, and there it goes. So now what you're going to want to do, as you can see, there's no files in this particular guy. You know, you can't click into any of these. So this is the only way to create a C file. You go right click, hit add, and, and this is under source files. So you right click, source files, add, new item, and then you're going to do, just click on the C++ file, and then you're going to change this extension. Hit delete, delete until it says C. So then we're going to call this test.c. So this is test.c. Then go ahead and hit add. And then it will create the file and drop it under the source files there. And there it goes. And now you see that you have this test. Now let's go ahead and make sure that we did everything correctly. If you did everything correctly, it should pop up. It's it's not like you see in Java. Um, C has to be compiled and set as an EXE, which makes it very, very good. 
a little bit better than Java because otherwise Java you have to hit the packet because it's compiled on runtime. But this guy it'll set so it has to open it basically in a separate um, window. So it'll open it in a separate e so it'll basically run the exe. It has nothing to do. This just compiles it and then your system itself runs the exe, which is really cool. So so it has nothing to do with the com this one just compiles it and then your computer runs it. In the case of Java, you have to have that that the IDE compile it and run it. So in this case, you don't. You have to just rely on the computer to run it. So here we're just going to do a test. And then uh, we'll go ahead and get into it. Explaining it. Uh, just doing this first, the, the, um, the signature thing for programmers, which is going to be our first Hello World program. And then you're going to hit return zero. And then go ahead and hit debug. Hit start without debugging. And hit would you like to build? Yes. And then I'll slowly build it, and then you'll see the, the pop-up come up. So now it's going to run. Sorry about that. My Okay, so there you go. Hello world. Actually, let's go ahead and do a um, escape character. So just hit the for, uh, forward slash or backslash, backslash N. Start without debugging. Let's start it again. And there you go. There's Hello World in the new pop-up box. And then we're good to go. So I will continue optimizing uh, this particular tutorial series. So I'll shrink everything in so you can see this a lot better in 720p. And now that you know how to run it, I will not be showing the debug window again. So it's under debug, start without debugging. That's how we run the program. Don't worry about anything else. That's how it's going to be. So I'm going to after this, I'm going to cut this off. And you saw how to add it. You don't need to actually go up here to the file. You just go right click, add, new item. And then you change the extension from C, from C++ down to C, and then you're good to go. So I'm gonna cut all that stuff out because I showed you it already. You might see me doing it down here to create a new file, but I wouldn't worry about that. So, yes, so this has been Steven from Legit Tech Tutorials, and this is my the, the first tutorial of my new series, uh, Programming C. And, uh, Stay tuned and subscribe for new videos coming to this series and other series like it. I have a lot of series coming up, and I'll be posting a lot in those series. And I'll see you next video. So uh, thanks for watching.